and we're back, and it's time to put my iPad in this pedestal. Jesus. Oh, it was a pedestal. I thought you were just making up a word. Good I know this game. I know, I know. <laughs> um, He's really but, examining it. When you when you said examine, he took it literal. I'm going to look all over this thing. Um, I have a pretty weird opinion about Zelda's, too. Um, the original is one of my favorites. Yeah. I love that game. Um, I've played it four times all the way through, and I was terrible the first time. I died 55 times. But I nobody played it. was good the first time they played that. I played it again right after that, and I... Oh my gosh, that's a chipmunk. I played it again right after, and I died three times the whole game. I've gotten it down to two deaths. Yeah. So... Once you know what you're doing. Yeah. And by what... <laughs> one, oh my what, gosh, oh my it's God. a giant earth dildo. I like it. Do you? Yeah. Look at it come out. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, there's multiple Earth dildos. I wish I could put my iPad into, like, random things. And dildos pop out. out. Oh. Or dildos would be better. <laughs> um, so basically... Oh, well, it's gonna explain it, kind of. Here's the Ubisoft towers in the game. Um, basically there's... How many of these? Twelve or six. There's, like, yeah, there's a lot of them scattered throughout the giant map. And that's how you get the And it unlocks map. the map. So, like, every time you get one, it unlocks an area... Like, you can go to any of them, but, like, you don't have the map for yeah. it. So that's what these are. And it, um... And then it, uh, it, pisses on your iPad and somehow you get It comes a little bit. It's like nipple lactation. Ooh. I think. Just a little bit of nipple lactation is what that Just was. Just a little bit? I like Just it. a little bit. Just enough. So look. So this is where you start out. <laughs> this, <laughs> watch. Watch. This is crazy. This is where you start out. Oh, hold on. I have to go back into it. Oh my gosh. This idiot. He doesn't know this. No, yeah, it makes you do that. That's and what he here says. Here comes a cutscene. Oh my gosh. All I wanted to do is look at what I was going to look at. I just clapped right into the mic. I'm sorry. I was remember, smacking my leg. Try. Try to remember. There's you the castle. You have been a slave for a hundred years. You have been a slave. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you know that? <laughs> I played this game for 50 hours and I couldn't tell you one line. The beast. The oh beast man, something's happening. Which day is closed off? Guess who that is? Um, probably Ganon. There's some horns. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. You like remember that. in the first game you fought that weird blue pig? Yeah. That's him again. That's him. Kinda. You'll learn. He didn't look quite like that the first time. No, he looked like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like a fat pig man. <laughs> um, Before it's too late. One thing about this game, I love it, but I think we said it in the diff in the Metroid playthrough the maybe the dungeons aren't that great. Oh but God. they try to make <laughs> <laughs> they try to make up for that oh, in yeah. the mini dungeons they have. Oh look at this! So that's where you start out. Pretty big area, right? Oh, that's just one area. Yeah, that's pretty big. That's the whole game. Here's where the castle is. Oh wow! Well, go fight Ganon right now. You I can. can. Well, go do it. Well, you I can't. would get absolutely destroyed because okay. you have to get. Well, I have to do four shrines. Yeah. Oh but my God. the shrines, um, they can we at least fight Ganon naked? Just Ganon. I don't think so. Sure. Okay. <laughs> um, they try to make up for the dungeons and the shrines. There's 120 shrines, and they're kind of like mini one segment dungeons. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he even jump off of to glide over there? <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, did anything odd occur? Well, that castle over there just had some kind of mist pig demon fly around it. And then you flew out of nowhere <laughs> well, off you can the, move the camera during the cutscenes. Isn't that pretty cool? Um, as far as 3D Zeldas go, um, Calamity Ganon. That's who you saw. That's Calamity Ooh. Ganon. 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 He causes the calamity. Is that like his cousin or something? Yeah, Ganon's it's cousin. his uncle. Oh, okay. Um, but anyway, <laughs> this is my second favorite 3D Zelda. Um, so I like Skyward, it a lot. Tyler correct? likes it a lot. Yeah, I love Skyward Sword because that's one thing why I want you to wait until they get the uh, the HD remake and have the thing um, to where you can play it with just a controller. Because you love games with stories, and Skyward Sword yeah. has the best story of any Zelda. I don't think that's debatable, really. Do you uh, think? I can't think of another I one. I guess. Majora's Mask is a good story, but it's kind of just Majora. like... I don't know. But you're on the Great Plateau. 
that's the first it's like area. The wars, it's the birthplace of Hyrule. It's basically yeah. uh what is it called from Sky whatever? Skyloft. Skyloft. Speaking of great stories, Zelda two. <laughs> so you start off, Princess is sleeping in front of you, go kill things and she'll wake up. It pulled at my heartstrings several times. Is that it? Uh well, yeah, I mean, you kill things. Oh, okay. But the reason I <laughs> they think... They pulled their heartstrings. <laughs> the reason I think this may eventually become my favorite Zelda is because of the replayability. Was that thing alive? No. No. I mean, is it, like, something that came Oh, be? it was alive eventually. That's Like, in the yeah. past, yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll was. fight those. Yeah. Um, so these are the Earth nipples. You saw the Earth dildos, <laughs> but these are the nipples. That's what I'm looking for. Um, and you can go inside these. Um, these are... This is the response to only having four major dungeons. Exactly. And you can... Sir. <laughs> That's the best thing I've ever I never did that once oh. in my entire playthrough. I'm not even joking. I have the DLC. You got a ruby! Oh, yay. You can give that is to that your that hoe means? when you see her. Yes, yeah. You can give that to your hoe when you see her. Princess? Princess. Princess Ho? Yeah, that's her name. <laughs> that wasn't like, that wasn't saying anything rude towards a woman. Spoiler that's her alert. name. <laughs> Princess Ho is taking Zelda's spot. Um, one thing I really like about this game, um, I really love games that when they do the intro, they teach you through it instead of, or like they, it doesn't just give you cutscenes and be like, this is how you play and like press X to jump and stuff like that. You literally just start going, and then this is how it teaches you how to use the main objects of the game. Once you're off the Great Plateau, you have everything you need to beat Ganon. Right there, Besides then hearts. and there. Well, some people can beat him with three hearts. It's insane. But once you get off the Great Plateau, you have everything you need, or will ever get. Fun Besides, fact. Besides, like, stronger weapons. This, uh, what's his face? Monk's name is Oh Man All. Which is an anagram for Awanuma, the guy who made Zelda. Hmm. It was not interesting to me at all, but it might be to someone else. It, it really got to me. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> so I just noticed. The, here's the about first the heart runes. Yeah. The heartstring was Magnesis. Tugged by, uh, these are Zelda 2, though. These are called runes. Um, and these are the things I was talking about. It teaches you how to use everything you'll need. So your little tablet switch thing. Um, you use it during the game. So the first thing he got was Magnesis. So he can move giant things that are metal. Which is pretty cool. Um, also, what? You're gonna fart? Oh my god, you tried to talk through it so no one could hear it, too. <laughs> I've been holding that in since the episode started eight minutes and two seconds ago. <laughs> he said, he whispered in my ear, I'm gonna fart, and then he tried to talk over it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, I'm so sorry you had to be a part of it. Um. So I don't even remember what I was gonna say. He's moving things around. But I was gonna say something else. Oh yeah, you can. Oh look at that. Um. Damn it! I don't remember what I was gonna say. <laughs> he got an ancient screw in his brain. I'll give you the yeah, ancient screw. I was screw. gonna say. I We're gonna go back and look through this footage, and I'm gonna remember what I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna be mad, and I'm gonna call you, and I'm gonna tell you. That didn't help. Viewers. That doesn't at all. Maybe I'll like, comment, and subscribe to ourselves. Um, every single one of these uh, shrines has a treasure chest in it. I feel like there would have been an easier way to open that <laughs> than upside down. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. It's not important at all, but I just realized we're both wearing video game shirts. We are. Of. Basically, the game this, that brought yeah games back to life. The two of them. I got Mario, and I have Duck Hunt Dog Ooh. on my shirt. So A new Arms update just came out. I don't care. Arms is great. Um, but back to what I was saying. What is that creature? It was a. Why would you skip that? I it was the first too. one. He, That's. It's I'm a sorry, Tyler. Tyler's not a good human being. So basically, the monks. Every time you beat one, they give you a spirit orb, and then they disintegrate. Because they've been there for a long time. And they're, that's unfortunate. What they've done has been fulfilled. Yeah. That's kind of like beautiful. So spirit kind of orbs, so those things up in the top right, those are your hearts, your stamina wheel, your spirit orbs, how many shrines you've done, and your Korok seeds. That of which are 900 in You've the game. got one done. Yes. There's 120. This is going to be a long playthrough. We're not doing that. I know. 
Um, oh, this guy's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, it seems you missed. <laughs> How do you know that? He's a genius. <laughs> Apparently, he just flies around town on a kite. He keeps a lantern with him, even though it's bright outside. <laughs> what do you mean? Paraglider, please. <laughs> just be an absolute jerk. <laughs> Can I have that now? You obviously don't need it. You just like showing so, it off. So now, at every shrine you find, it, it acts as a war point, so you're not oh, walking yeah. around this gigantic world all the time. Yeah. So every shrine... That way you don't have to explore the area you're sent to explore. What did you just say? <laughs> you don't have to explore in an adventure game? No. You, no, it, I, I get it. Oh my gosh. I get it. What a stupid joke. Gosh. You know what? We just went from like oh. ten wa- like people watching this to half of them clicked off and were like, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> they were just like, she we're done. <laughs> we're done. I heard quite some time ago. I didn't pay attention to what you said. That's going to be a common theme <laughs> with our playthroughs. <laughs> uh, so look, he's already using it. They put a pawn right by you to let so you, you can start using your thing you just got. I like it. It's a good beginning area. Not Mega Man X. Good, but yeah. Good. It's... Um... It seems like uh, it would be kind of weird to drop it here. Yeah, All right. don't worry about so it. So I'm going to start making my way to, to the next shrine. Um, yeah, you and have to get four shrines on the Great Plateau before you're able to get off. So that's what Tyler's working towards right now. And next time, we will be at which one? Which one are you going to? Uh, I can't remember the name, but it's the one where you get the bombs. The one where you get the bombs. Coming up next. Jabaji, I think.